and Fillmore have been doing quite well selling Wigglesworth Indian Guide Elixir. Guaranteed to grow hair on a billiard ball. That's him, Clyde. Professor Waldo Wigglesworth. He's the one who ruined my business. How's that, boss? He grew hair on my billiard balls. That's how. And now I have to take them to the barber shop every day for a haircut. Did you ever try to put an eight ball in the side pocket that's been using greasy kid stuff on its hair? Clem, you know I don't play pool. Come on, man, let's get him. I'll teach him to grow hair on billiard balls. Uh-oh, Fillmore, like a big breeze, we must gather our forces and prepare to blow. Have the damn barbers! I don't understand why they're so upset. My elixir lived up to the guarantee. Uh, Professor, did you ever try to put an eight ball in the side pocket using a ball with greasy kid stuff on its tail? Yeah, that was close. But just then... <laughs> Bill Moore, I think we are finally safe, thanks to my Wheelsworth Indian Guide elixir. Uh, yeah, gee, Professor. The boy, that was a close one. Uh, good news, Professor. I think they're gone. Of all the stupid, moronic, imbecilic things to do, Fillmore, you and that brainless bugle are a couple of looby, noddy, dumb, noddy, tommy, noddy, noodle fools and income pools. Uh, now, just a minute, uh. What can wood my bone have? Now, just a minute, Professor. Scatter brain, rattle brain, feather brain, giddy brain, nuts. Uh, now, you've gone too far. I may be all them other things. But I ain't no nut. You are a nut, Fillmore. You're a Filbert Fillmore nut. You are a nut in spade. The that does it, Waldo. The me and my bugle are going. And the good luck to you and your harebrained schemes. <laughs> Hi, Professor. Where's Fillmore? Gone forever, hoppity and good riddance. Him and that stupid bugle. You mean that you two have split up? Split? Oh, yes, Fillmore split. But, Professor, you and Fillmore are like, like, ham and eggs. Arms and legs. Shoes and socks. Bagels and locks. Star and twinkle. Rocky and Bullwinkle. I know, Hoppity, and everything would have been all right except for one thing. What's that, Waldo? I can't stand him. Meanwhile, <laughs> Fillmore decided to take an eastbound freight out of town. But due to a slight miscalculation in train schedules, he was on his way to the next town on foot. <laughs> Holy smokes, it's the fuzz. Little knowing behind the next signboard were two notorious gangsters named Kostra and Nostra. Now, what is that, Nostra? It's a big, hairy guy playing a bugle, Kostra. You're putting me on, right? No. He's sitting there blowing this here bugle. Now, look. I know a bugle. If there's one thing I know, it's a bugle. I was in the army, see? And a bugle goes... And that ain't no bugle. That's a bugle, all right. Say, he's just a guy we're looking for for our next caper. Hey, big hairy fella. How'd you like to join up with us? Uh, what do I have to do? All you gotta do is just blow your bugle. Uh, just blow my bugle? Just blow your bugle. Uh, do I get a coffee break? What Fillmore didn't know was that the notorious Costa Nostra brothers were planning to spirit away the son of multimillionaire Faubus Flytrap, the insecticide king, whose motto, a little dab will kill you, was known the world over. <laughs> Just how they are planning to use Fillmore, I don't quite know. I don't quite know either. Well, watch the next episode then, stupid. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, do tune in to the next episode. The Icebox Caper or Fillmore Blows It Cool. <laughs>